Did you know that about 37 million people in the United States suffer from chronic kidney disease, and 90% of them don't even know they have it? Indeed, kidney disease is a silent epidemic, stealthily impacting millions of lives not just in the United States, but also around the world. This hidden crisis is largely due to the lack of noticeable symptoms until the disease has considerably advanced. Diet, surprisingly, plays a significant role in maintaining kidney health. What we consume can either aid or hinder our kidneys' functionality. The wrong foods can lead to the accumulation of harmful toxins, culminating in kidney disease over time. Despite these alarming statistics, there's hope. By identifying and eliminating harmful dietary habits, we can take a proactive stance against kidney disease. It's a battle we can't afford to lose, especially given the sheer number of people unknowingly affected by this condition. The first step to combating this silent epidemic is understanding the foods that are poisoning our kidneys. Salt. It enhances the flavor of our food but does nothing to enhance our health. In fact, it's a silent killer for our kidneys. It's common knowledge that salt, or more specifically sodium, can lead to high blood pressure when consumed excessively. But did you know that high blood pressure is a leading cause of kidney damage? It's true. The kidneys, which are responsible for filtering waste from our blood, are put under tremendous strain when blood pressure is high. Over time, this strain can lead to kidney disease or even kidney failure. Now, you might be thinking, I don't add extra salt to my food, so I should be fine, right? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Salt is hidden in many of the foods we consume daily. Processed foods, canned goods, fast food, restaurant meals, even some breads and cereals can be loaded with sodium. It's a silent assault on our kidneys. So how can we fight back? The solution is simple, but it requires mindfulness and commitment. Start by reading food labels to understand how much sodium you're actually consuming. Choose fresh, whole foods over processed ones whenever possible. And yes, limit the use of table salt. Remember, every step you take towards reducing your salt intake is a step towards better kidney health. It's not about completely eliminating salt from your diet, but rather, it's about finding a healthier balance. Reducing salt intake is the first step towards saving your kidneys. Sugar, the sweet destroyer. While it may satisfy your sweet tooth, it wreaks havoc on your kidneys. Our journey to understand the foods that are sabotaging our kidneys takes us to the world of sugar, a world that's as bitter as it is sweet. Sugar is everywhere, lurking in your sodas, your pastries, even your favorite breakfast cereals. And while a little sweetness can brighten up your day, too much of it can lead to a host of health problems, with your kidneys bearing the brunt of the impact. You see, a high sugar intake doesn't just give you a sugar rush, it can also lead to diabetes and obesity. These two conditions are among the leading causes of kidney disease, and they're often fueled by excessive sugar consumption. When you consume too much sugar, your body has to work overtime to process it. This can overtax your kidneys, leading to damage over time. And it's not just about the quantity of sugar you consume, but also the source of it. Sodas and processed foods are the main culprits, loaded with added sugars that your body doesn't need. So next time you reach for that soda can or that pack of cookies, remember what it could mean for your kidneys. Remember, every spoonful of sugar is a step away from healthy kidneys. Let's make the choice to step towards healthier habits and better kidney health. Protein is essential for our health, but too much of it can overwork our kidneys. Protein is one of the building blocks of life. It's vital for repairing and building tissues, making enzymes and supporting our immune systems. But like any good thing, too much can be harmful. High protein diets, especially from animal sources, can put a tremendous burden on our kidneys. You see, when our bodies break down protein, they produce waste products. Normally our kidneys filter out these waste products and excrete them in urine. But when we consistently consume more protein than our bodies need, our kidneys have to work overtime to clear out the extra waste. Over time, this can lead to kidney damage. Just imagine you're running a marathon. You can keep up a fast pace for a while, but if you don't slow down and rest, eventually your body will give out. It's the same with our kidneys. They can handle a high protein load for a while, but over time, without enough rest, they can start to falter. Now this doesn't mean you should cut out protein entirely, not at all, but it does mean you should be mindful of how much you're eating. A diet that's balanced in protein, carbohydrates, and fats is the best bet for keeping your kidneys healthy. Balance is key, especially when it comes to protein intake. Alcohol, the life of the party and the death of your kidneys. As we dive into the abyss of alcohol, 
It's essential to understand that this social elixir, when consumed excessively, can be a silent saboteur of your kidney health. Often alcohol is viewed through a lens of conviviality and celebration, but its impact on our kidneys tells a different tale. Excessive alcohol consumption triggers a domino effect of health issues, starting with high blood pressure. Imagine your blood vessels as a network of freeways. Now, think of alcohol as the reckless driver causing traffic jams, disrupting the smooth flow of traffic. This disruption, known as high blood pressure, forces your kidneys to work overtime, which can lead to damage over time. In addition to high blood pressure, excessive alcohol intake can also lead to liver disease. You might be wondering, what does the liver have to do with the kidneys? Well, these two organs are like best friends, working together to remove toxins from your body. If the liver is compromised, the kidneys bear the brunt of the cleanup, which can be overwhelming and lead to kidney failure. So, the next time you're at a party or event, remember that each drink has an impact. It's not about total abstinence, but about moderation and understanding the effects of what we put into our bodies. Your kidneys will thank you for saying no to that extra drink. So we've discussed the top foods that are destroying our kidneys, excessive salt, sugar, protein, and alcohol. Each of these, when consumed in unmonitored amounts, can lead to a cascade of health issues, the most severe being kidney disease. Let's quickly recap. Excessive salt intake can increase blood pressure, forcing the kidneys to work overtime. Over time, this can lead to kidney damage and even failure. Similarly, an overabundance of sugar, especially from processed foods, can lead to obesity and diabetes, two major risk factors for kidney disease. On the other hand, too much protein, particularly animal protein, can put a strain on the kidneys, leading to possible damage. And lastly, alcohol. This can cause dehydration, a condition that forces the kidneys to work harder than they should, eventually damaging them. Now that we understand the risks, it's crucial to remember that balance is key. A balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can help protect your kidneys. It's not about completely eliminating certain foods, but rather about moderation and making healthier choices. Regular checkups are also essential in maintaining kidney health. Kidney disease is often silent until it's advanced, so regular screenings can catch issues early. If you have risk factors such as high blood pressure, diabetes, or a family history of kidney disease, it's even more important to get checked regularly. In conclusion, the food we consume has a profound impact on our overall health, and specifically, our kidneys. By being mindful of our diet and making healthier choices, we can greatly reduce the risk of kidney disease. And remember, it's not just about avoiding certain foods, but rather about nourishing our bodies with the nutrients they need to function optimally. Remember, your diet is not just about satisfying your palate, it's about nourishing your body. Make the right choices for your kidneys.